Okay, and welcome back. We're going to be now setting up our planes. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Create menu right here. And we're going to select a plane. And what I'd always suggest is use the Maximize Viewport toggle right here. That way that you can maximize one viewport at a time. And I'm going to draw out. Now remember, this is a uh, bellow vehicle. It's not very large, so you got to keep in mind how big these objects are because, you know, if you're doing an F-16 and your box is the size of, uh, I don't know, some an object that is obviously not an F-16, uh, your model is going to look very obscure. So keep those things in mind when you're doing uh, reference images. So I'm going to get rid of these length segments. We don't need them, don't want them, and there we go. Now I'm going to hit F3 so you can see a solid up plane here. And I'm going to turn off my grid by hitting G. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to E, which is rotate. And holding the shift key, I'm going to rotate on this axis. And to be honest with you, the easiest way to do that is hit the F key for front and then rotate, uh, wait, pardon me, not the F key, top key. Now, I'm going to rotate, notice now it's rotation, the numbers at the top right here, they're moving by 1 and 0.5. So what you want to do is now rotate 90 degrees. There we go. And make sure to hit copy, name your plane. This is going to be the side plane. again. Make sure it's set to copy. If you do instance, it's not going to work too well. And we hit OK. And there we go. We have this little uh, cross looking section here. Now, what we want to do is we're going to create the front. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these just a little bit so that we have our section set up. And then I'm going to go into the front view. It's hard to see, I know. It's there, though. So, what I'm going to do is I need to know what the length and the width is. So the width, it says, is 69.972. Well, you know what? Let's just do us a favor here. Hit 70. That's easy, okay? So like this one right here, just in case you can't realize what we're selecting, this is the side plane. And it says its width is uh, 69.972. I'm just going to change that to 70. Why not? Its length, now here's the thing, width in, is considered the height of this point. And length is that right there. So what I'm going to do is since the width is 70, I am just going to go ahead and rotate this. Hit E. Steady hand. This is not going to be side plane. This is going to be front plane. Hit OK. Yeah, that's, what we got. that's what we got right now. And I am going to go ahead and make some changes here to make this work. For one, 70. There, that's taken care of. It's basically going to be 70 and 70. Pretty easy. And I'm just going to move it so that it fits. There we go. Now, these two, since they are dark, what we want to do is, is when we go up to orthographic, we're going to hit configure and force two sided and hit OK. And last but not least, on our objects, we're going to right click, go to object properties, and advanced lighting. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I believe it's deselect cast shadows. Negative. Uh, this happens occasionally. What it basically is is that this is a dark shadow here. Um, you can't really rectify it by using uh, conventional um, 
means. So what you have to do is you have to go into the configure port and you have to change the lighting and shadows, default lighting to lights right here under the lighting and shadows and hit OK. Now you can see it. Piece of cake. Uh, I tried to do it every other way, it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reselect all these, go back to object properties, and turn cast shadows on again. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to select one plane here. I'm going to go to my material editor. This is a much different material editor. Um, there should be a way to reset it back to the uh, different modes. Uh, I'll get that into. I'll get into that in a different lesson. Uh, but it does have all the uh, setup as the original. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select standard. So now I have material number 25 standard, and I'm going to go down to diffuse color. I'm going to select diffuse color, and it's going to open up bitmap. And these are your little boxes right here and under bitmap. I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to go to where my images are held, which is on my drive, 3ds Max, references, and we'll start with the front. Actually, no, this is the sides. So never mind. Side. And that should be enough right there. Actually, and all i got to do, hit assign, oh, make sure you're selected on it. And it's being a pain. Hold on a second here. Got to get used to the... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, this new layout myself. Okay. And everything looks right. Let's make sure we're selected. There we go. Now it turns gray. Now to make it so that it's not gray, we're going to go to Show Standard Map and Viewport. We're going to click that. And it's sideways. That's awesome. Now the reason why it turns sideways this is an easy fix. What you're going to do is this is exactly the way that it is set up uh, for 2009, even 2007 and 2008, 2009, 2010. This is a 64 bit version if you're not sure. Uh, but what you can do is right here under the W, I believe it should be 90 degrees. Hit enter. And oh. Let's go and do negative 90. And there it is. Perfect. Awesome. Now we're just going to do a new one. Do a new standard. And we're going to select diffuse bitmap. And we're going to do car top. And that should be everything we need. Select this one here. And then remember, we're going over to show standard map and viewport. Ah, it's screwed up as well. Uh, when I show you how to use UV maps, this will be much easier. I'm going to hit 90 degrees, enter. Let's see if that fixed it. Looks good. Okay. And we're going to do our last one. And then we're going to close out this tutorial with this last one. It's like I created too many here. Let's delete that one. And you do want to name your uh, your materials. Don't get me wrong. You do. Uh, I am not doing it right now just because the sheer fact is, is that it's not a huge concern, but it can be. Um, organization, yes, is a must. Um, I'm probably breaking my own rule right now, but I will show you how to take care of that later. Now I'm going to select that one there. This is my front. Select this, and I'm going to hit Assign, Show Background. Oh, pardon me, one. And then I am going to rotate that negative 90 degrees. There we go. Now everything is in there, and it's looking good, except for this one right here. It's pointed the wrong way, so all I'm going to do is going to go to my mirror tool and mirror it over. And now uh, let's do this one as well, too. And now we've got ourselves a perfect UV map. Okay, and that concludes uh, how to set up a reference object. Uh, thank you for your time. 
Uh, email me at C Ornelas O R N E L A S 1883 at yahoo.com for any questions concerning this tutorial. Thank you for your time. Take care.